Good morning. We're going to take two deep breaths and then say our prayer. Dear God, if left to my own devices, my perception will be skewed. I surrender to you everything that I think and feel. God, please take my past and plan my future. Send your spirit to redeem my mind that I might be set free. May I be your channel, God, and serve the world. May I become who you would have me be, do what you would have me do, go where you would have me go, and say what you would have me say unto whom. Thank you, God, for my many, many blessings. Please enable me to set aside everything I think I know for an open mind and a new experience. Thank you. Lesson 64, let me not forget my function, which I constantly do. <laughs> let me not forget my function. Today's idea is merely another way of saying, let me not wander into temptation. I hope that you can hear me okay. I didn't put headphones on. The purpose of the world you see is to obscure your function of forgiveness and provide you with the justification for forgetting it. It is a temptation to abandon God and His Son by taking on a physical appearance. It is the body it is this the body's eyes look upon. Nothing the body's eyes seem to see can be anything but a form of temptation, since this was the purpose of the body itself. Yet we have learned that the Holy Spirit has another use for all the illusions you would have made, and therefore he sees another purpose in them. Sorry, I'm like making myself just calm down and stay here. I'm a little rushed this morning. All right, so I'm going to repeat. Nothing the body's eyes seem to see can be anything but a form of temptation, since this was the purpose of the body itself. Yet we have learned that the Holy Spirit has another use for all the illusions that you have made, and therefore he sees another purpose in them. To the Holy Spirit, the word is the world the word. The world is a place where you learn to forgive yourself what you think of as your sins. In this perception, the physical appearance of temptation becomes the spiritual recognition of salvation. To review our last few lessons, your function here is to be a light in the world, a function given you by God. It is only the arrogance of the ego that leads you to question this, and only the fear of the ego that induces you to regard yourself as unworthy of the task assigned to you by God himself. The world's salvation awaits your forgiveness because through it does the Son of God escape from all illusions and thus from all temptation. The Son of God is you. Only by fulfilling the function given you by God will you be happy. That is because your function is to be happy by using the means by which happiness becomes inevitable. There is no other way. Therefore, every time you choose whether or not to fulfill your function, you are really choosing whether or not to be happy. Let us remember this today. Let us remind ourselves of it in the morning and again at night, and all throughout the day as well. Prepare yourself in advance for all the decisions you will make today by remembering that they are all very simple. Each one will lead to happiness or unhappiness. Can such a simple decision really be difficult to make? Let not the form of the decision deceive you. Complexity of form does not imply complexity of content. It is impossible that any decision on earth can have a content different from this one simple choice. That is the only choice the Holy Spirit sees. Therefore, it is the only choice there is. Today, then, let us practice with these thoughts. Let me not forget my function. Let me not try to substitute mine for God. Let me forgive and be happy. At least once devote 10 or 15 minutes today to reflecting on this with closed eyes. Related thoughts will come to help you if you remember the crucial importance of your function to you and to the world. 
In the frequent application of today's idea throughout the day, devote several minutes to reviewing these thoughts and then thinking about them and about nothing else. This will be difficult at first particularly since you are not proficient in the mind discipline that it requires. You may need to repeat, let me not forget my function, quite often to help you concentrate. Two forms of the shorter practice periods are required. At times, do the exercises with your eyes closed, trying to concentrate on the thoughts you are using. At other times, keep your eyes open after reviewing the thoughts, and then look slowly and unselectively around you, telling yourself, this is the world, it is my function to save. Lesson 64, let me not forget my function. Let me not wander into temptation. I don't know if you hear that. It's a dog. The purpose of the world you see is to obscure your function of forgiveness and provide you with justification for forgetting it. Let me not forget my function. Thank you. We're going to take two deep breaths and pray out. I was thinking when I was reading this, a colleague referred, a consultant I worked with referred me for a job out in California and it's a really great job. It would be wonderful. Um, however, my spirit, you know, I sat with it a few days. You know, I was going to go through the process of applying for it. I had the support of, of my husband because um, he'll be retiring far sooner than I will. And um, it was a great job, great opportunity, but I just withdrew last night because it was you know, I don't think that would, first of all, I've been seeing the same lesson over and over and over in each job. It doesn't matter where I work. Second of all, I don't want to go away from my grandchildren. <laughs> that would be a root of unhappiness and my children. But I'm like, you know, after sitting with it, it just didn't feel right, especially after everything we've been through, you know, moving to the West Coast and then back in the past less than two years, so, you know, I just withdrew from it yesterday, and I feel good about that, you know, of course you have the ego thoughts come in, and, um, but I know I made the right decision, I'm tired, I don't want to move anyway, it's not on my, it just didn't feel right, so, anyway, it was very flattering to be referred for, for the position, pat, pat my ego, you know, but, um, it just, isn't right. Besides, I really want to endeavor my dream, and, and, which has nothing to do with the medical field at all. So, um, so I know that if I keep procrastinating, even moving in different positions, I'll never get there because I'll keep I keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. So hey, all right. Well, anyway, two deep breaths and pray out and um, forgive me today. I have an eye infection. I feel a little rash this morning. That's my I'm baking breakfast. <laughs> I love you. Have a wonderful day. Two deep breaths and pray out. Dear God, please grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Help me not to forget my function today. I love you, God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I hope you have a most beautiful day. I appreciate you showing up here. Peace. Love you.